agree with all of that. Yes. And, and uh, sometimes departures are messy and sometimes people are let go because they simply don't measure exactly. up. And sometimes, unfortunately, they've been with you for a number of years and they've done perfectly good work, but they don't pivot. They don't adjust. They yes. don't change with the times. Yeah. They become locked into old patterns of behavior when new patterns of behavior are required. And you just, you try hard to teach them new things, but they're not able to learn. And finally, you have to go to them and say, I'm sorry, this relationship has come to an end and it's painful often. And you've got to be as empathetic as you can be and make resources available and counseling and all the things that you just talked about. And it doesn't always work, but you've got to do the best you can. Mm -hmm. Be be, there, there's a, there's a, there's, there's a poem called the water cure and it's gender specific to men, but leaving that aside, um, it says, take a bucket and fill it with water, put your hand and up to your wrist, take it out in the hole that's remaining is a measure of how you'll be missed. Mm. You can splash all you please as you enter. You can stir up the water galore but stop and you'll find in a moment that it looks just the same as before. Mm. There's a moral to this example. Just do the best that you can. Yeah. Be proud of yourself, but remember there is no indispensable man or person. Mm. And you can never see yourself as being indispensable. And the corollary to that is, and my father always said this to me, he said, always leave when they want a little more of you yes. and not a little less. 